Good morning everyone. Thank you so much for registering as a member with us. In this video, I will show you how to use the digital library, how you can log in onto the digital library and what are various resources we have and how you can explore content in those resources. And uh, for the same, I will be sharing my screen wherein I'll take you through the entire customer journey of our digital library. Our digital library is available in two platforms. Uh, one is uh, the web-based version of our digital library app, which I am currently showing you. And another is uh, you can download the same application on your smart devices. Uh, the app name is MyLog. It is compatible with both Android and iOS based devices and you just need to log in once onto the app and then you'll be stayed logged in over there unless and until you proactively sign out from your devices. The same uh, thing is there in the web based version of this application as well. As a first time user, you would need to log in once and uh, if you are not signing out from this account, then you will be stayed as a logged in user onto the web version of our digital library app as well. Let's start with the login process. As a registered user, you would have received a welcome email from us in which details about your user ID and password would be given in that. User ID is always your registered email address and for password link that is shared in the welcome email with the help of which you can set the password of your own choice. If you haven't done or if you are not able to set your password, please uh, do let us know. Write an email to your respective library, area library and they will be able to help you in setting your password. The customer journey which I am showing you is on the web-based version of the MyLog app. However, the customer, it's the same customer journey when you are downloading the application as well. So as a first time user, it will ask you to select your institute and the institute here you need to add here is British Council. Once you will type British Council, you need to wait for just one or two seconds. And when you will see the British Council name in the drop down here, you just need to click on it. Click on continue. And then it will take you to the page wherein you need to choose the country and then uh, you need to add your user ID and password. Now we will click on sign in to British Council Digital Library. Here you need to choose your country. So uh, we have the presence of digital library in more than 37 countries. That's why all the countries are listed here because it's a single customer journey for everyone. And it's the same content which will be accessible for all the countries and for all of our registered users. That is the reason there is an option of choosing so many countries over here. If you are the user from India, then you need to choose India as a country. But if you are a user who is from some other country, which is listed in this drop down, you can do that as well. As I said, your user, though it's written as user ID or membership number, but you need to add over here only your user ID. And your user ID will be your registered email address. We will click on login.